Welcome to Precision Weighing Balances. In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to configure the balance so that it can weigh in multiple weigh modes and also change the unit weight. So when the balance, this is a Sartorius entrance series, when the entrance is delivered, it's set up to weigh in grams only and it's in weigh only, so it's not in the unit mode. So the first thing that we're going to do is we need to go in and to the configuration and it's pretty intuitive. One simply presses and holds the select menu key. From there you want to, um, so once you're in application, the first mode is going to be application, you want to select the select menu key. We're going to press it four times until we see setup. So one is input, two is info, three is language, Four is setup. So once we're at setup, we want to hit the enter key twice because now we want to get into the setup. So once, twice, you'll see ambient. Once you see ambient, you want to press the select key five times. One, two, three, four, five. So now you're in unit weight. And we need to change the unit weight. The default is grams. We want to configure the balance to weigh in pounds when it powers up all the time. So to do this, we're going to select the enter key. And you'll notice it says grams and there's a circle on the right hand side. That circle means that the balance is configured for grams. We want to change that to pounds. So in order to do that, we're just simply going to select the select menu key or this down arrow and we're going to scroll through the weigh units. So if we want, we could set the default to kilograms, carats, pounds, and that's what we want, pounds, but I'm going to scroll through them all so you can see the weigh units. Ounces, this is troy ounces, this is tail over in Hong Kong, this is tail over in Singapore, this is another tail, then we're in grains for gun and ammo people. Penny weight for people that are weigh in silver and gold. Milligrams. There's another couple other weigh units. Mummies. Some Australian weigh unit. Toll. Another weigh unit. These are all weigh units. Even tons. Pound, colon, ounces. Newtons. User defined. So you can actually uh, make your own unit weight. And we're back to grams. So again, you'll see grams with the circle there. So we said we want to set up the balance so it only weighs in pounds. So you notice, it says pounds. We're on pounds. And in order to confirm that that's the weigh unit that we want, we need to press the enter key. And when we do, we'll see a circle. And notice the circle there. That means that now the weigh unit will be pounds. Now we need to get out of the menu. To get out of the menu, you notice there's an arrow here on the left, which is the clear function. You press it once, twice, three times, and now we're resetting the balance, and now we're in pounds. So notice, when this unit, when this balance powers up, it will be in pounds all the time. So let me, I'm going to take off this two kilogram weight. We'll just say, we'll shut off the balance. So it's in standby mode. We'll turn the balance back on. It goes through the power up sequence. And now the unit weight is pounds. I'll put the calibration weight. This is a two kilogram weight, which is like 4.4 pounds. So it's reading correct. Now let's go in and we want to change it so we can toggle between multiple weight units. In order to do that, we need to change the application. So again, you press and hold the select menu button and we're in application. At this point, we need to go, you'll see you're in application, you need to press the enter key to get into the application mode. So we're in way. You wanna press the select menu and now we're in units. So again, you'll notice there's no circle there. We want to confirm the unit. So now we're going to press the enter key. Again, you'll notice the circle there. 
And so now the application is unit, so we'll be able to toggle between four different other units. We need to get out of this menu, so we'll hit clear function, clear function, and now we're back into the way mode itself, and you'll notice we're in pounds. So to select the other way units, one just simply presses the select button quickly, and you'll notice it says none, and you'll notice here in the upper left-hand corner, there's one uh, period there. So this is the first unit that we're going to select. So we want to select the way unit. One simply presses the select menu, and we'll say the second way mode that we want is carrots. And to store that, we simply hit the enter key, and again, you'll see the zero there. So now we want to select the next way mode that we can scroll through. One simply selects the arrow key and you'll notice now you have two periods in the upper right hand corner. This now we're going to set the next way unit. So one simply again selects the select menu, user defined, grams, kilograms, we've already select carrots, this time let's select ounces. And so once again to store that value you press enter You'll notice there's a zero there. That zero signifies that the second way unit is now ounces. So now we want to go to the, the third one. So again, I press the enter key, and now you'll notice there's three dots in the upper right-hand corner. We'll select that way unit by, again, simply pressing the select menu button. And this time, we'll weigh in grains. And to store that value, again, you'll notice there's no zero there, so it hasn't been stored yet. You just simply press the Enter key, and so that value is now stored. And finally, we can go to the last way unit, and hopefully you get the uh, process of how to do it. So this time we'll store it for penny weight. And again, one simply sent, there's no circle here. That value has not been stored yet. One simply presses the Enter key, and then that value is stored. If you hit Clear Function to now get out of the menu, we're back into our standard way. And so remember, we set up the balance so that the primary way unit was pounds. If we want to now weigh in a different way unit, one simply hits enter and we'll see the next unit is carrots hit enter again the next unit is ounces the next unit is in grains gr i'm sorry gn and hit enter again we're now in penny weight and we're back to pounds so again our primary unit is now configured to pounds. And notice if I shut off the balance, it's in standby mode, power up the balance, you'll notice the weigh unit is pounds, put our weight on, it's in pounds. So that's how easy it is to configure the Satorius entrance series. Hopefully this video was helpful. If you have any questions, visit our website balances.com or scaleman.com and you can download the user manual and walk through those configurations again. But setting up the balance for practically any way mode you can imagine is very easy. You can shut off all the other way modes so there's no confusion. You can do whatever you want. This is a very configurable balance. The entrance series is a new balance that was introduced in March of 2014.